Well, welcome back to Morning Break as we take a live look from our Riverfront Skycam this morning, uh, kicking off your Monday, and at least it's not rainy out there this morning. Uh, more than 50 million Americans have to deal with arthritis on a daily basis, and this weekend, the public is invited out to Lake Mayor to try and help raise money and awareness to this potentially debilitating condition. This morning, Dr. Robert Hoffman, an orthopedic surgeon with Chatham, Chatham Orthopedic Associates, is joining us here in the studio. Uh, Chatham Orthopedic sponsoring the Walk to Cure Arthritis, which is coming up on Saturday out at Lake Mayor. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's talk about this. It's a, it's a walk. Uh, we're talking about people who are battling arthritis and things yes. like that, but it is encouraging them to, to get moving and to, to kind of stretch their legs, so to speak. Well, arthritis obviously encompasses a lot of different mm -hmm. conditions, but the most common cause is osteoarthritis, which is the general wear and tear arthritis that we see most often. And your best way of preventing getting arthritis or osteoarthritis and the best way to treat your symptoms if you have it is to maintain a healthy body weight, exercise, keep those muscles strong. And so anything that helps sort of raise money for the Arthritis Foundation and promotes physical fitness, we really, really like things like that. Take us through, uh, the, through the day, what's happening uh, and how, how this will all work. Um, the walk on the website, if you go to chathamorthopedics.com, you can get details on the event. The walk is at 1230. We encourage people to get there about 12. It's a um, just a mile and a half walk, and it's a good way just sort of to educate yourself a little bit of our, about arthritis, to raise awareness for some of the treatments and research that's going on and it's a good fundraising event that goes to try to help find cures and treatments for these. You have uh, people who are I'm sure who are going to be out there who are who do struggle with arthritis or family members who are out there to support that that family member so to speak? Oh yeah and so you have patients that um, have family members with arthritis that have had arthritis that have had joint replacements to help their arthritis. There's a wide variety of people who will be out there and it's pretty low-key it's a walk just a mile and a half, and it's a good way just to get out and get some exercise on a Sunday afternoon. What are some of the signs that people should be looking for if they think, you know, it, wanting wanting to get it checked out, worried that, hey, may this, this may be more than just, oh, I'm sore this morning when I got up or something like that? Yeah, so arthritis just means joint inflammation. There are literally dozens of different kinds. The most common one is the generalized wear and tear osteoarthritis that we all get as we mm -hmm. get a little older, and then some other less common forms like rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis. The big things that drive patient visits to the doctor are pain, difficulty putting weight, so if the arthritis affects the leg joints, the hips and knees and ankles, difficulty bearing weight, swelling, the, that just won't go away. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of us usually will try some simple things like Tylenol and ibuprofen and see how it goes. But if those types of things don't work and you're struggling with persistent pain that's really interfering with your life, that's when people usually come seek our help. Are there things that people shouldn't, shouldn't ignore? I mean, if you start to, like you said, if I'm taking ibuprofen every morning and it, the pain is still there. I agree with that. Yeah. So persistent symptoms. And so usually waiting a week or two to see if an ache or pain go away is very reasonable. Trying over the counter remedies is very reasonable. But I would say that symptoms that last for weeks that just aren't going away, that are getting worse, patient or people around you are noticing that you're limping or can't do the things you mm -hmm. normally do. Those usually drive you know, the next step. I know the uh, the trail around the lake there, it's uh, it's mostly paved trail, so strollers, uh, if folks are in a wheelchair, anything like that, it's still it's very, flat. yeah. It's flat too, and it won't be super hot. And so, yeah, it's a pretty benign way, even if you're not uh, extremely mobile, it's pretty pretty easy, pretty easy thing to do. And real quickly, uh, where, where can they go again to sign up if they want to register? So um, our website is chathamorthopedics.com, and if you go there, you, can, you will see the links to signing up. And I believe the other website is events.arthritis.org, and you can have a link to Savannah um, to, to go to that website. All right. So, again, that's uh, coming up at uh, 1230 out there, and uh, you can head out to Lake Mayor and take part in that. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Still to come, the fourth.